Hey everybody, Mr. Regan here, and today we're going to be looking at creating your evolution model that's going to focus on the image that you see right here. So this picture is very iconic and famous for showing the evolution of humans, starting on the left with some of our most common ancestors, all the way up to our present day uh, human body. And we know that when we look at this image here that we can see the changes that we've gone through over billions of years that led to our final form. And today you're going to be creating a model of a topic that shows its evolution over time, but that topic is going to be one that you focus on. So let's go ahead and talk about task one. Over here in the survey, we're going to be looking at the directions for how to create your own evolution model and how to create it using the table and resources on the next slide. So we're going to look at this picture here that we see of Mickey Mouse, and we're going to use this as our example for how to create your evolution model. So if we look, we see Mickey uh, at the very beginning in 1928 and had a very simple form. This is the, one of the very first versions of Mickey Mouse. And over time, starting at 1933 to 1940, the present day, we can see it's change over time, whether it's the shape of its different body parts, whether it's the color scheme, whether it's different features on its body, we can see how it went from a very simple form to a more complex form over each of these four time periods. Each stage is a change or set of changes that occurred over time. Your job is going to be to do the same idea, but with your own topic. And that topic can be anything you want. So let's go ahead and take a look at the directions for this model and how we're creating it using the table and resources on the next tab or uh, next slide. So if you pull up the speaker notes here, you're going to see the directions and what you're going to be putting in each of our three rows. We have a blue row, a red row, and a green row. So your job is going to be to create an evolutionary model for a specific topic in your life. The topic can be your favorite hobby. So it can be a favorite game you play, a sport, a TV show, food, or anything important in your life. It can be anything at all. But you're going to pick a topic, whatever it may be, like Mickey Mouse, and you're going to create a model of how your topic has evolved showing its five stages. So this would be stage number one. This would be stage number two. This would be stage number three. This would be stage number four. And this would be stage number five. Now, in our Mickey example, we only have four stages, but you need to find five for whatever topic it may be. It could be football. It could be cooking. It could be uh, your favorite Netflix show, whatever it may be. Now, each of these columns will be one of the five stages. And in each row, you're going to need the following. In the blue row, you need to give me a name for each of the stages in your topic and a date in which it existed. So maybe in this first one, if I'm looking at Mickey, I could say the very first Mickey in 1982 or 1928, excuse me, and so on. Give it a name and give it a date that it existed. So this would be Mickey number one, Mickey number two, three, and four. In the red row, you need a picture or an icon to show the stage of your topic as it changed from its earlier version on the left to its most recent version on the right. So obviously this Mickey would go on the left, the one with the steering wheel, and the one where he's got his hands on his hip would be on the far right. Last but not least in the green row, you need a description of each stage of your topic's evolution and how it changed. So in the description, I might talk about how this was the earliest Mickey, how it's more black and white, how he has a hat, how his features are more proportional. Okay, they're all about the same and he doesn't have gloves. Versus... In present day, I might talk about other things about the color, about how his feet and arms and legs got bigger, how his tail changed, and so on. And I'll put that in each one. So when I'm done, I'll see a title of that version. I'll see a picture of that version in a description. And I should be able to know what changed over time, what it looked like over time, and how it changed over time. So those are the directions for the model and how you create it using the table and resources. If you have questions, reach out. Otherwise, good luck.